Volta Architects has offices in Oslo, Gothenburg and Copenhagen. In order to improve workflows and collaboration across offices, the company has decided to introduce unified communications from Telenor. Oscar Matheson has just come back from a meeting in which the customer has requested a change. Oscar needs to discuss this with the other architects in the project group. He first uses his own link to check whether Christian Christiansen in Copenhagen is available. But Christian is in a meeting and his name is therefore highlighted in red. However, Elizabeth Ord's name is marked in green. She is thus available and Oscar calls her directly from his PC. Elizabeth works from the Gothenburg office and when Oscar's call comes through, both her PC and her mobile ring at the same time. With unified communication from Telenor, you have just one telephone number, regardless of whether you are calling from a PC or a mobile phone. She can see that Oscar is calling and decides to take the call on her PC. Oscar launches screen sharing so that they can view the construction blueprints together. Once Elizabeth has assessed the situation, they wish to inform Morgan Linda and get his input. They check Morgan's status, he is available, and they invite him into the conference. Morgan says that the cost involved must be verified by a contractor. The contractor's telephone number is not stored in their system, but is easy to locate. They enter his name, find his number, and save the details for future use with just one click. They then invite the contractor to participate in the conference. Finally, they write a live memo together where everyone confirms that they agree on the change and will wait for feedback from the contractor on the budget. In Copenhagen, Christian's meeting is finished and Oscar is now able to update him on the customer's requirements and on what the project group has agreed. Christian takes the call on his tablet and launches screen sharing to view the construction blueprints with Oscar. The contractor has looked at the budget and sent a text message to Oscar Matheson to give him a heads up. The text appears in the conversation log in Oscar's Outlook and Oscar has written confirmation of the cost reduction on both his PC and his mobile. Oscar wants to put the project group up to date as soon as possible. It is easy for him to summon everyone to a virtual meeting. He calls the entire project group simultaneously with just one click. Christian Christiansen, Morgan Linder and Elizabeth accept the call, but Liv Larsen is not available. During the conversation, Elizabeth has to run to catch her train, so she transfers the call from her PC to her mobile so that she can continue to take part in the meeting. Oscar Matheson has received information that might indicate that the contractor has overlooked circumstances that could affect costs in the project. He calls a new meeting, which is held via video link. Unified Communications from Telenor allows Oscar to book the meeting directly in Outlook. He can easily add the group angles from Link to see all email addresses in the invitation field. All those summoned to the meeting receive a link to the video conference in the invitation. When it is time for the meeting, those summoned participate from their individual locations. Before they finish, they agree that Christian should visit the construction site. The following day, 
Christian calls Oscar from the site and uses the video function to show him the progress so far. Elizabeth Ord has been notified of a power cut at the construction site, meaning that all activity on site has been temporarily stalled. She is busy, but sends a direct message to Morgan Linda, asking him to contact an electrician capable of rectifying the fault immediately. But how can he do this as quickly as possible? Who is closest to the site? Bolt Architects has created a group comprising the electricians that they use most frequently. Two names under electricians are marked in green and are thus available. Morgan then right-clicks the group and selects C location. The map that then appears quickly gives him an overview of who is nearest to the fault location. He immediately calls the nearest electrician and asks him to head to the construction site as quickly as possible. The electrician confirms that he is on his way and that he will rectify the fault immediately. Morgan wants to notify the others on what has happened. He can easily send a text message to the entire project group without having to enter the number of each individual person by right-clicking the group in link and selecting send text. As Oscar Matheson has the overall responsibility for this project, Morgan wishes to call Oscar to tell him more about the incident. Morgan sees that Oscar is busy on another line and that he must call back later. Morgan then uses the function Notify Change of Status so that he can be notified when Oscar is available again. Unified Communications from Telenor offers businesses a uniform communications solution where speech, data and video work together. This allows colleagues and collaboration partners to work together efficiently and seamlessly, regardless of where they are and what terminals they use. By removing the limitations of geography and availability, the business saves both time and money, while the environment is also spared unnecessary strain. Unified communications from Telenor is the future way of working.